Hello and happy, happy day. Twisty today. Twisty flow. Twisty flow today. So let's start on our back. Let's start on our little back. Not our big back, our little back. And um, start off just in Shavasana, right? Legs extended, maybe the hands to the belly. Maybe starting to notice the inhales and the exhales, right? So every time you inhale, the belly grows, the belly expands. And then every time you exhale, the belly drops. Twist. No, that would be interesting. God, I don't know that I can teach a wrist class. <laughs> Maybe we could be like, all right. So we try to start with the breath and then we try to invite the movement and let it be led with the breath. Take about another two to five breaths if this. Great opportunity to calm the mind. Good morning. Good, and then start to take your next inhale and wiggle the fingers and the toes. Blink your eyes open. You can interlace your hands over your head. Get a nice little stretch. Oh, this feels good. Morning stretch. Good. Just cross the left ankle over the right ankle for now. And then create a little lift and a reach so that you kind of move your torso towards the right. Feel the stretch through the left side of the body. Good, and then come back to center. Switch the other leg. So now right ankle over left and reach to the other side. And then come back to center, bend the right knee, bring the foot down, take the left thigh and cross it over the right. Hey! <laughs> Dale, you're my bottle girl. Reach your arms wide, <laughs> bring your arms wide, and then kind of recline that to the right. Ooh. Feel that nice stretch. And then come up, extend that left leg up, the one that's on top, extend it up and roll the ankle in one direction, in the other direction. That looks so nice on you. Grab the back of the thigh and then bend and straighten the knee. Maybe even flex and point the foot a few times. Good. Take your inhale here. And as you exhale, see if you can lengthen the leg, but bring your head up. Oh, you might feel that all the way back in the back of the leg. Mm -hmm. Tap it, massage it, let it feel good, wake it up. It's 
really tight sometimes in the morning. Good. And then bring that foot down and let the right thigh cross over the left thigh and then recline the whole thing to the side. Open your arms and keep your right shoulder down. And maybe what happens to me happens to you. I feel almost like a pop and a release in my back. And then you can come back up and here it is. Extend it, grab the back of the leg, bend and extend a little bit. Flex and point the foot a few times, wiggle the toes. Inhale, and then as you exhale, bring yourself up. Good. Go ahead and rock and roll forward and back a little bit. This is very personal. Some people like to rock and roll onto the shoulders and some people don't. And the next time you rock forward, sit up and then fold. Keep your knees wide so you can open your hips. I'm gonna put the music a little higher because... Good. take your left arm up inhale and then as you exhale grab your head encourage that left ear towards the left shoulder And then switch, or actually don't switch, release it, bring the hand back and twist. Now come to center, switch the ankles first and fold forward again. And then walk your hands in, left arm up, or no, right arm up, right ear towards the right shoulder. And then twist. Okay, on twist, come right into tabletop. And then maybe shift your hips from side to side. The next time you shift, your feet shift to the right, come off the left leg and then loosen up the shoulder a little bit, left arm up and over. Good, reach your arm up, roll the wrist, snap the fingers. And let's twist the torso, inhale, left arm up, exhale, yes, thread it under, look to the right. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, I think one more. Inhale, reach up. And then when you exhale and you thread, anchor the left foot. And if you want, come off the right knee. Good, drop it, drop the knee, drop the other knee and come to the other side. It'll feel good to come off that right wrist. Roll the shoulder. Wiggle the fingers and the wrists. Snap the fingers. And then here we go, twist the torso, inhale up. Exhale, thread. Inhale up. 
Exhale, thread. A few more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. This last one is the one that we hold. So inhale, reach. Thread through. Anchor the right foot to see if it feels okay for you to bring the knee or the entire leg off the mat. Good. Release it. Send the left arm up on the inhale. Send the right leg back. And then take your inhale here. And as you exhale, we're going to pull the knee to the elbow, elbow to the knee, but twist. So see if you can bring the elbow outside of the knee. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Step that right foot forward. Give that left knee a break. Bring your blocks if you want in, in kind of alignment with the right foot. And then shift forward and back from here. Getting into that back foot. Good. And then the next time you shift forward, walk your right foot to the right. I'm going to move my block out of the way and then twist. See how that feels. Good. Take the right hand down. I'm going to put blocks under my hands to find my first down dog today. You can do it with or without your blocks. So frame, step, organize your down dog. Feet, hip distance, hands, shoulder distance, ears alongside the arms. Maybe pulse your chest a few times. And then inhale, rock forward. Rock forward into your version of plank. Exhale, come back into down dog. One more, inhale, rock forward to plank. And then rock back into down dog. Drop the right knee, lift the left leg. Take the blocks out of the way if you have them. And then bring the right arm forward. Inhale, and as you exhale, when you pull in, you're gonna it almost add a little twist. The elbow goes outside of the knee. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, here it is. Release, step forward, get off that right knee. I'm grabbing my blocks. And then I shift back and forth a little bit. Good, the next time you shift forward, I'm going to move my block out of the way, and then you twist from here. Nice. Take your inhale. Frame the foot with your hands. Use your blocks if you wish. I'm not using my blocks this time. Down dog. High plank inhale. Now listen, as you exhale, bring the right knee in and twist it towards the left elbow. Good, send it back. Bring your left foot and bring the left knee in and twist it towards the right elbow. Bring it back as you inhale, down dog, exhale. 
stay in your sweet little down dog and maybe maybe for a little bit come off your hands onto your forearms see how that feels for you keep looking back to your feet Now press through your hands, use the core strength to lift your elbows. Look in between your hands, step or hop forward. And then root to rise all the way up, inhale. Hands come together right at your heart center. Exhale. Okay, let's start our flow. First pose of the day or first pose of the flow is chair. Come into chair pose. Sink the hips as low as you're comfortable. Send your arms up first and then cactus the arms as we warm up. Good. Lift your left heel off the floor on the inhale. Step the left leg back. Good. So nice, simple crescent pose. Now drop the knee, lock your thumbs, and let's send the arms up. And then we take your arms and twist from a kneeling position, twist, and then untwist and bring them back up. Let's do that two more times. Twist, water wheel. Untwist, come back up. One more, twist, water wheel. Left hand down, left knee up, lunge twist. Bring your hand down as you inhale. Walk yourself over to the wide part of the mat. Keep your right hand under your nose. Bring your left arm up and twist again. Roll that top wrist if you want, snap those fingers. Roll your arm inward and bring the back of the hand to the low back or the right inner thigh. Good, look down as you reach the left arm up, inhale, left hand down, exhale. Soften both knees, come up strong. Inhale, warrior two to the right, exhale. In and out of warrior two, three times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, Good. shoulders drop, belly draws in. Lengthen the right knee as you take your next inhale, glide to the front, triangle pose, exhale. Look down, inhale, down dog, exhale. High plank, inhale. First chaturanga of the morning. Exhale, look just forward and lower towards the belly. Use your knees if you need to. Cobra pose, inhale. Down dog pose, exhale. Feet meet and you look forward, inhale, walk or float to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold, root to rise, inhale, chair pose, exhale. 
Reach your arms up in, in, in your chair pose and then cactus them. Right heel lifts as you inhale, step back, crescent, right? Or a crescent shape. And then find the stability and drop your knee. Reach your arms up, lock your thumbs. Get your body accustomed to having the arms up. Inhale, the arms are here. Exhale, water wheel to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, water wheel to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, water wheel to the left. Right hand down, inhale, lunge, twist, exhale. Lift the back knee. Look down, take your inhale, and then as you exhale, walk your hands towards the wide edge of the mat. The left hand stays right underneath you and the right arm reaches up. Little inner thigh stretch when you do this. You can roll that top wrist, snap those fingers, roll your arm in, bring the back of the hand to the low back or the inner thigh. Good, inhale, look down, reach up. Exhale, release, bend the knees, come up tall, inhale. Warrior two to the left, exhale. Flow in and out three times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Reverse that warrior as you inhale. And then as you exhale, lengthen the legs, glide to the left so that you move into triangle. We look down, inhale, frame the foot, step back, down dog, exhale. High plank pose, look forward, inhale, lower in your own time, exhale. Cobra, inhale, shift back for five breaths, either on your knees in child's pose or off your knees and down dog. And then you can entertain coming into your forearms again, if you want. Two more breaths. If you're in the Omni forearms, take your inhale, press your palms. Exhale, lift your elbows. Feet together, walk or hop to the front of the mat. Chair pose from the get-go. So flow number two, starting right here, right? A little edit. Good. Lift the left heel off the mat. Maybe lift the left foot off the mat and balance. And then immediately step back into your either ungrounded crescent or bring your knee down grounded crescent. Inhale here, water wheel. Take the back hand to the low back or to the leg, take the left arm up.
Take the left hand under the shoulder. Here it is, inhale. Lunge twist, exhale. Look down, inhale. Wide-legged forward fold with the right hand down, exhaling, left arm up. Take your left hand to the low back. Take the knee soft, come up strong, right arm up towards the ceiling, inhale, our right arm back behind you, exhale. Come back to neutral, inhale, warrior two to the right. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. Triangle pose, exhale. Reverse your triangle this time. Inhale. Bend the knee, forearm to the thigh, left arm over your ear. Exhale. Good. Come back. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Lunge twist. Exhale. Now, look down in your lunge twist. Look for your block. Bring your block under your hand in your lunge twist. Take your top hand, bring it to the small of the back or the waist. Look just forward of your foot. Slide your block forward. Lunge twist off your back leg, essentially revolved half moon. My block is flat, but I can bring it up tall. And then I reach and I work the twist even more. Good. Come back to traditional lunge twist. Leave the block where it's at. Come off the block. And then bring your right hand down, inhale. Right leg up towards the ceiling, exhale. Leave the leg up as you inhale. Bring the knee in and twist to the left, exhale. Two more like that. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, extend the leg, step the foot forward. Anchor the back foot, warrior two. Reverse, warrior two, inhale. Triangle pose, exhale. Reverse triangle pose, inhale. Deep angle pose, exhale. And then this time, reverse warrior two, inhale, half moon, exhale. So if you know it, go it, go for it. If you don't, left hand down, right hand in front and to the right of the foot with or without a block and then float that back leg off the mat. Good, land it back, reverse your triangle as you inhale. Down dog, exhale. High plank, inhale, lower to the belly, exhale. Cobra pose, inhale, down dog pose, exhale. Okay, so your body might feel a little wonky. One side is more 
activated than the other, some twisty stuff. Let's balance it out. Look forward. Inhale, walk, float, crawl, front of the mat. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Right heel up, exhale. Maybe right foot up. Take your inhale wherever you are. Step back into your version of crescent. Even out the sides. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, water wheel. Stay in water wheel with the knee up or bring it down. Left hand to the small of the back, right arm up. Stretch it. Water wheel, inhale, lunge twist, exhale. Look down, inhale, walk yourself to wide legged, forward fold with your left hand down and your right arm up. Right hand to the small of the back, bend the knees, rise up, inhale keeping the left arm up and back as you exhale. And then upright your torso, inhale, water, not water, warrior two to the left. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. Triangle pose, exhale. Reverse your triangle pose. Inhale. Forearm to the thigh is next as you exhale. Hold it here. Right. Reverse your warrior two. Inhale. Lunge twist is next, exhale. Look down, inhale, bring your hand down. Exhale, left leg up. Keep the leg up on the inhale, knee towards the twist to the right, exhale. Yes, again, inhale, twist, exhale. Again, inhale, twist, exhale, inhale, lengthen, step the foot forward, exhale. Here it is again, reach up as you inhale, warrior two, exhale, reverse your warrior two, inhale, triangle pose, exhale. Reverse your triangle pose, inhale. Forearm to the thigh, exhale. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. Half moon if you know it, go right into it. If not, think about left hand in front and to the left of the foot on or off the block, right hand to the waist and then try to come off the back leg. Maybe extend your top arm. Keep rooting through the four corners of your bottom or grounded foot. Keep flexing through the top foot. Good, reverse your triangle. So land it back down. Inhale, left up. Exhale, lunge, twist. Take your inhale in your lunge twist. And then as you exhale, left hand down, downward facing dog split. High plank pose, inhale, lower to the belly, exhale. Cobra is your inhale, five breaths, either child's pose or down dog. And you're always welcome to come onto your forearms. Get comfortable on your forearms. 
Okay, and if you wanna rest in child's pose and get water and towel dry, go for it. And if you're in forearm balance, I mean forearms, you can work on balancing on your forearms, working on one leg up, working on both legs up. Staying on your little forearms. Bringing your booty closer towards your head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we all meet in down dog. Play with it. Feet together, back of the mat. Let's take a little walk or hop to the front of the mat. Two more flows to go. So root and rise in chair. Inhale, but this time turn your chair into a chair twist. So sink your hips. See if you can inch your arms to the right and then bring your thumbs towards the heart. So the thumbs have to be moving towards the center of the chest instead of the shoulder. Good, untwist, stand up tall, reach up, inhale. Come back into chair and twist to the other side, exhale. Thumbs to the heart. Twist from the belly button. Look down, untwist, come up tall, inhale. Chair pose, exhale. Keep your arms up or cactus the arms, come off the left heel. And see if when you come off the left heel this time, you can actually cross the left ankle over the right thigh, chair, but awkward chair. You don't have to do it. You can always stay basic or with the heel up or the first one or the second one we did like this. Step back when you're ready. Yes. Inhale, reach into crescent. Exhale, water wheel. Inhale, reach back into crescent. Exhale, lunge twist. Look down, inhale. Wide legged, forward fold, right hand down, left arm up. Keep your left arm up on your inhale. Thread the left arm under the right arm. Grab a hold of your right thigh, ankle, or leg, or foot. Reach your right arm in front of you. Peek under the right arm. Bend the knee, unthread the arms, bring both arms all the way up, inhale. Take your hands to the small of the back, bend the knees a little more, back bend, but standing. Hips forward, gaze up. Good, come back to neutral, inhale. Warrior two to the right. Reverse your warrior two. Inhale. Triangle pose. Exhale. Reverse your triangle pose. Inhale. Forearm to the thigh, or maybe forearm to the inside of the leg, the left arm over your ear. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. 
half moon, exhale. Ah, I forgot one little reverse half moon on the other side. Okay, so from half moon, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, square your shoulders to the floor. Bring your left hand on that block. Send your left leg back only as high as the hip. So don't bring the leg really high, just as high as the hip at most. And then revolve into a revolved half moon. Okay, if you wanna grab a hold of the foot and stretch out a little bit further through the hip, play with that. Come back, regular lunge twist. Right hand down on the inhale, right leg up, lift it. Open the hip, exhale. Inhale and bring the leg straight, exhale. Bring the right knee towards the left elbow like we did before. This time, fall in triangle. Set, lengthen the leg, slide the legs apart. Reach the arm up and open. Good. Use your core to come back into a down dog with one leg up. So right leg up in here. Plank pose to low plank. Exhale. Cobra pose. Inhale. Down dog pose, exhale. Forearm balance for those of you that wanna try it again. The forearms come down, the feet come together, the right leg comes up. Anchor a lot, I'm here for you. If anybody wants to try it, that was nice. I was ready for you. I was ready. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, so here's the big deal when you balance, flex the feet and turn them in. Turn them, yeah. Turn them in as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And then if you're ever scared, bring one knee into the chest while the other leg keeps coming back. Then you end up feeling like, well, if you fall, you're only falling with one leg up. Okay. Come back into down dog. Walk or hop the feet forward. Root into chair pose. Inhale. Oh, here it comes. Hands to the heart, stand up tall, exhale. So take yourself halfway through the mat and turn your feet to the left. Chair twist or side crow. That's why we're doing this, okay? Blocks can be handy. Believe it or not, blocks do make you scared, but it makes the floor more accessible. You're not as high. So you can keep them close and give it a try. And if you feel like, whoa, it's too scary, then you can go. So we start sitting and twisting like we did before to the right. Remember, thumbs to the heart. And the reason why I coach thumbs to the heart is because you want to get the most rotation that you can get. And then once you're here, if you want to balance on your feet, try to squat onto the balls of the feet. This is super challenging. Then if your shoulders are okay and you want to try to balance off your feet, hands on blocks or on the mat, and then you create a little table with that left arm. So the left arm, upper arm connects to the outer thigh and the other elbow can hug in as needed. Okay, if you don't need it, you don't hug it in. So you come up one or both little feet. You can always start just coming off the bottom foot, the right foot, and then the top little foot stays grounded for balance. It's good. So then the big thing is keep shifting forward. It might bring a little bit of pressure on the wrist. 
And then calm on done. Who I broke a sweat from that one. Okay, so regardless of where you were, twisty, come all the way up. Untwist, turn your feet forward, shake it all off. We'll do second side. Okay, so you're back in, turn your feet to the other side, come into your chair, twist to the left. Thumbs to the heart. And then you might think this is plenty for you. If you want more, look down and try to balance on the balls of the feet. Super challenging. And then if you wanna balance off your feet, then you bring your hands to blocks or the floor. Remember, top right arm connects to the outside of the left leg. Bottom arm, is guided depending on the, at the, on the need basis, right? As your need, you can hug in for more support or keep it out, okay? All depends and every side is different. Come off with the bottom foot first. My top foot is kind of dangling, tapping, keeping me safe. And then I can stack, stagger, play with it. Okay. If your wrists bother you, take care of your wrists. And you can always put towels on the base of your palm, not the entire palm necessarily, but the base of your palm. So it takes pressure, a little bit of pressure off the wrist. Okay. We're going to come out of it, lift up, untwist, shake it all out. Okay. Last flow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, settle the hips. Bring the right heel up, possibly right ankle over left thigh. Stay here. And then you can step that right leg back when you're ready, inhale. Water wheel to the right, exhale. I'm sorry, to the left. Reach back up as you inhale. Lunge, twist, exhale. Look down, inhale in your lunge twist. Forward fold over the wide leg. The left hand stays underneath. The right arm reaches up as you twist. Inhale, thread the right arm under the left arm. Catch your thigh, your leg, or your foot on that left leg. Walk your left arm over your head and look under the left arm. And if it feels better for you to have a block, do that. Untwist, soften the knees, come all the way up tall, inhale. Hands to the small of the back, exhale. Bend the knees a little more. If you want to interlace your hands behind you, you can, or grab a towel or a strap. It's a back bend with bound hands with a little shoulder stretch. And then stand up tall, inhale, warrior two to the left. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. Triangle pose, exhale. Reverse your tri triangle pose, inhale. Forearm to the thigh or to the inside of the leg, right arm over your ear, exhale. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. Half moon, if you'd like, exhale.
from here, and I know I owe you a little extra time on the reverse half moon because we didn't do it on the last one. Go ahead and bring your hand down, square your hips and your shoulders. Dial the right toes down, only bring the leg up. The highest is the hip height. Put a block under the right hand so that it really helps you keep your spine long. Inhale, right toes down, exhale, left arm up. You're welcome to stay, you're welcome to bend the leg and see if you're able to grab a hold of the foot. And then you can come on down, lunge twist without the block. Inhale and exhale. Left hand down, inhale, down dog. Split, exhale, bring the knee in and twist to the right. And then fall in triangle. So from here, thread through, spread the arms, spread the legs, open the chest. Down dog split is next. High plank as you inhale. Lower to the belly, exhale. Cobra pose, inhale. Come down to the belly, exhale. All right. So, left forearm is going to kind of... Uh, Left arm reaches to the left and then you bend at the elbow so your forearm is parallel to the mat. And then you're gonna press and open through the left. And we're gonna do something that's a little bit more uncomfortable. We do a lot of the arm reaches to the side. We don't do a lot of the arm reaches on a diagonal. So bend the elbow for a little bit then we're going to take you on a diagonal. You might not like me too much while we do this, but it is good for you. It just targets other little muscles and tendons and ligaments. Good. Come on to the belly. Now watch my left arm is bent, right? Now I'm gonna stretch my left arm. This is what we usually do. We just stretch the left arm. Okay, take the left arm on a diagonal. So bring it up, up, up. Okay, and then reopen to the side. This is tighter on a diagonal. Okay, so yes. It's not gonna feel great. You might have to put the block under the side of your face or lift your head up with your fist or hand. Good, come back to the belly, slowly. And then bring the right arm off to the right and then bend at the elbow. Roll to this side, yes. Just little stretches that are so, um, super healthy that we can possibly do them every day.
Yes, come on to the belly. Extend the arm as we normally do to the side, but now walk it up on a diagonal and come right back to your side. Ooh, that's a long arm. <laughs> Stretch yourself back in. Pull yourself back in. Cobra pose. Inhale. Down dog pose. Exhale. Feet together. Let's allow that left leg to come up on the inhale. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Pigeon pose. Pigeon like this. Or please feel free to do pigeon like this. If you notice you're holding yourself up with shrugging shoulders or tight chest and shoulders, put a block under your chest. When you support the body so it doesn't resist too much and hold you up too much, it ends up relaxing more. Slowly upright your torso, send your legs forward when you're ready. See if you can balance on your tail with one leg up or with both legs up. Okay. And then see if you can balance holding onto your arms or not holding onto your arms. You decide. Take your next inhale. This is called Navasana. Then as you exhale, move it into stretcher. Hug the knee into the chest, the right knee, but keep the left leg extended. Good, feel your low back grounding and then switch. Right leg out, left leg in, all core. Bring the other right knee in, take an inhale, down dog is next. Right leg up, inhale, bend the knee, open the hip, prepare for pigeon. And then arrive at your version of pigeon when you're ready.
Upright your torso when you're ready. Bring your legs forward. Balance on your tail with your feet down, holding onto your legs with one leg up, both legs up, or maybe even not holding onto the legs. Good. And then move into that stretcher again. Flex your feet, bring your right knee in. Bring your right leg out, bring your left knee in. Bring both knees in, bring both legs out. Bring your left knee in. Bring your left leg out. Right knee in, right knee out. Both knees in, both legs out. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. If you're fine and you're comfortable here, stay here for a few moments. If you feel the need to open the chest a little bit, sit on your hands, move into fish pose for a few breaths. And then I would love for all of us, if you're good with it, to finish class with the legs up the wall. So literally put your legs up the wall or float your legs up from where you're at. You can put a towel, a pillow, a block under your tail if you need. And then you can bring your arms up, but make sure you're not rolling your shoulders off the floor. So keep your shoulders down. Soft your hand, soften your hands and let all of that tingly begin. Blood pulls back towards your vital organs. In your own time, you can bring your legs and arms down.
And you can start wiggling the fingers and the toes. Bringing yourself a little bit from side to side. And then when you're ready, you can come up to your comfortable seat. And we'll bring our palms together, thumbs to the heart. Think about what you want to invite into your day today. And then attach the word I am right in front of it. As you take your next inhale, say that phrase in your mind. And then as you exhale, open your mouth and release what no longer serves you. Namaste. Namaste, You're fine. It's okay. Namaste. That's part of life. Namaste. Thanks for joining me.